Tēnā koutou katoa. Uh, Che Wilson here doing coho sessions um, during this period of lockdown and I'm linking up to a few other uh, pages so that we can connect and share with each other. So I'm just going to wait for a little while. actually signed on a minute early but that's okay. Anyway, tēnā koutou, tēnā hui tātou katoa. Koho session number one during lockdown and tonight uh, I'll be doing sharing a karakia that I've composed uh, for this time and it's a karakia to help us invoke uh, life and wellness uh, during when times are tough, when times are hard. And so uh, the words uh, have been posted already on this on this live, uh, and the style of karakia that I'm doing is um, a karakia or wakaho, uh, where you invoke um, your atuatanga. And um, the words I'm going to talk about soon, but here's how it goes. Mai a maranga, mai a maranga, te rangi e tu i tonei. Mai a maranga, te papa e takoto a kenei. Mai a re a re ki roto, mai a re a re ki waho. He uru ora, he uru ora. Tina, tina toka te mana wa ora, mana wa ora ki te hoka tipua. Mana wa ora ki te hoka tahuito, ho mai te mauri ora. Ko te ora i te pū, i te weu, i te aka, i te tāmo. Tēnei te ora kā, tupu, 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 nunui. Te ora tupu, tupu, roroa, te ora rere mai. Te wai ora, he uru ora, he uru ora e. Hi. You can finish off with a hui if you want. But basically, uh, during these sessions, during these coho sessions, during lockdown, I'm going to share different things, different insights uh, to help us through this time. So I've composed this karakia to uh, invoke wellness and invoke life. Uh, not just for ourselves as individuals, as you might chant this wayata, but also uh, to send it out to the world during these trialing times. Uh, and what it says is, let us invoke the universe. Let us invoke the energy on earth. Uh, and as we invoke, be aware of our uh, surroundings. And as we invoke, be aware of what's also happening inside us. All of that noise. Um, so that we uh, invoke uh, wellness and life. And then we solidify that life and recognise its divinity and recognise the legacy that our ancestors have passed on to us. Uh, so that we can then receive the essence of life. And as we receive the essence of life, let life grow. Let life grow as if it was a seed, as if it was a seedling. And as it grows, uh, it starts to uh, sustain itself and as it sustains itself we then uh, are able to receive the vitality of life uh, because we have um, reached the apex of life itself. Uh, so that's a real quick and pretty rough um, translation uh, of this karakia and it's chanted and people might think it's a waiata but there are two, two ways to chant. There's the generic collective way, which is done in the female energy, which is what I've done today. Or there's the one that you might normally hear, which is the male energy. But when we do it collectively, we should be doing it in the female energy, just like um, you hear in many of our karakia, uh, the paimārire, when they chant, they'll do their male side, but then also the female side. Um, as well as um, you'll hear it in the ringatū, you'll hear it um, at home uh, and other places too. So 
uh, it's important that we start um, leaning in on, um, especially depending on which sex we are, that we lean in and use our own reo, our own rhythm, to help us uh, connect to our atuatanga. That's enough for tonight. Uh, stay well. I'll keep focusing on this karakia and sharing more bits about it over the next few days, as well as some other bits um, over the next while during our lockdown. Take care. Heaps of love. Tēnā koutou. Kia ora tātou.